The second generation Ford F-150 Raptor is the hottest truck and it's also the most capable Raptor yet. It's twin turbo 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine and the advanced Fox racing suspension gives even Jeep Rubicon a run for its money. Combine that with the new design features inside the cabin and you have one of the most demanded, the fastest and the best off-road truck on the road today. But this new Raptor didn't just get here overnight, it went through a little more than a decade of a Ford F-150 innovation. And before we talk about Raptor, let's uh, take a look at F-150 Lightning. Lightning was uh, Raptor's uh, street legal racing truck uh, sibling and it was Ford's first step into the world of specialized trucks. It was created by Ford Special Vehicle Team SVT. The 2000 F-150 Lightning had 360 horsepower and unlike the current Ford Raptor which is lifted by racing shocks, Ford Lightning was lowered for a better performance. But even before the first Raptor's big reveal at the SEMA show in 2008, the regular F-150 was never a stranger to off-road trails. Uh, but most owners at that time used uh, aftermarket parts to upgrade their trucks for off-road adventures. So SVT decided to try and put this new off-road capable truck into production with this first Raptor model. It had a big 6.2 liter V8 engine with 411 horsepower, long travel suspension and an aggressive appearance compared to the regular F-150. It had a Raptor exclusive suspension setup with a wider track that was on the regular F-150. So the Raptor was purpose built for the series off-roading. The custom tuned shocks specifically for the Raptor complemented a strong increased long travel suspension of the regular stock F-150. The 2010 Raptor featured 11 inches of suspension travel in front and 12 inches in rear which made flying over the bumps on the trail much easier. And when the truck appeared at the off-roading shows, usually dominated by Jeeps, Land Cruisers and Land Rovers, Raptors stole the attention. So back at SEMA Auto Show, after the big reveal of the new Raptor, Ford announced that they will be leaving for Mexico and entering their new truck into the Baja 1000 race. And Baja 1000 is one of the most fascinating places and races in motorsports. It's off-road endurance run through the middle of the Mexican desert and that can break down even the most battle-tested off-road vehicles. And generally Ford was no stranger to this race as well, winning several titles since 2007. They actually won 8 championships out of 9 they entered and they won more overall 4 wheel drive uh, titles uh, than any other manufacturer. But this is the first time they came up with untested truck. So Ford was risking their new off-road truck reputation by entering the Raptor into the race, but the new Raptor went through uh, most extreme conditions with only minor hiccups and finished third. And since then Ford sent Raptor into the race every year. So now Ford's new truck was uh, race proven and desert tested and ready to take the next step into production and the new truck owners already could not wait to get uh, behind the wheel and test the truck for themselves. And as a result the Raptor became an unexpected uh, sales hit leading Ford to build even more Raptors. In 2010 7000 Raptors were sold, in uh, 2012 sales numbers raised to 13,000 and after that sales continued to increase every year. The first production Raptor with the digital mod graphics sold at the auction for 130,000 with proceeds above the MSRP going to charity. SVT equipped Raptor with Fox Racing internal bypass shocks with external reservoirs. 
It's a very long name for a complicated and expensive shock system. And this system allowed suspension travel 11 inches in front and 12 inches in the rear. So basically the whole truck is built around this very cool suspension and a very powerful engine. For 2010 the standard engine was a 5.4 liter V8 that produced 310 horsepower and an optional 6.2 liter V8 producing 411 horsepower. Both engines were paired with 6-speed automatic transmission. For 2011, the 5.4-liter engine was dropped from F-Series, leaving the 6.2-liter V8 as an only option. And to accommodate this long travel suspension design, the rear leaf springs and the front suspension arms were redesigned and SVT made the truck wider by 7 inches uh, and also raising the height by 2 inches. SVT Raptor received several changes to its exterior as well, sharing only its headlamps with a regular F-150. The SVT Raptor fitted with a Raptor-specific front fascia and a composite hood, wider fenders. Um, the Raptor also fitted with a grill-mounted uh, clearance lamps uh, that was in a requirement due to its size and to distinguish the Raptor from the regular F-150 Ford blue oval emblem was replaced by Ford letters on the grille the cargo bed was redesigned as well to fit the wider rear track and tires and to maximize its departure angle the truck received a shorter 5.5 foot bed and mostly generously equipped SVT Raptor is fitted with several interior features specific to the model line. Those are high bolstered seats and an orange stripe uh, that was added to the leather wrapped uh, steering wheel serving as a visual uh, centering reference. The SVT Raptor was also uh, pre-wired for aftermarket equipment. The second generation Raptor was released for the 2017 model year, dropping the SVT prefix. And just like its predecessor, the new Raptor is a pickup truck derived from F-150 and uh, prepared for off-road adventures. And also just like the standard F-150, the Raptor is mostly aluminum vehicle using steel for the frame rails only. And uh, compared to the previous SVT Raptor, the weight was reduced by over 500 pounds. Raptor kept its uh, Fox Racing advanced suspension, but with even larger shocks, the uh, wheel travel increased to 13 inches for the front and uh, 13.9 for the rear axle and the uh, all-wheel transfer case uh, was introduced as well as a torque on demand system and the design combined the on-demand capability of all-wheel drive with the durability of four-wheel drive. For the 2019 the racing shocks were updated with live valve capability automatically adjusting for the terrain and uh, as before, the 35-inch all-terrain tires were fitted to the 17-inch wheels and that is the uh, rare option for a mass-produced vehicle. And traditionally, in line with the previous generation, Ford letter grille replaced the Ford uh, blue oval emblem uh, with clearance lights mounted on the grille and the front fenders to indicate its size and the 5.5 foot bed designed was also specific to this new Raptor. The new Raptor is still offered in both Super Cab and Super Crew configurations. The digital mud decal option was replaced by a large black decal on the pickup bed and as an additional option a black Ford tailgate decal was offered as well. Uh, the very interesting fact is that the uh, truck's engine shares almost 60% of its parts with the Ford the GT's engine. And uh, while testing GT's prototype, the crankshafts repeatedly failed. And so for the convenience, the pre-production Raptor crankshafts were used and GT prototype won the race uh, with that crankshaft. 
So years later, now we have the most refined the Raptor and also the most controversial. Its twin turbo engine produces an incredible 450 horsepower and this is the most ever in the Raptor and it's only 3.5 liter V6. And that's the problem for some enthusiasts who feel that the flagship F-150 should have uh, nothing less than a V8. And uh, comparison with the old 6.2 V8, the new EcoBoost actually dominates in every uh, category. The new engine is so powerful in fact uh, that uh, as I already mentioned for GT supercar shares most of its parts and its own engine. And with the new Ranger and Bronco in works for the 2019 or 2020, seems like four trucks will only get better and the wild popularity of the Raptor uh, guarantees that Ford performance trucks are going to be in demand for a long time. That's all I have about this most powerful performance off-roader, the Ford Raptor. And if you like this video, please like it and share. Also, please check out my channel for my other recent videos. Subscribe. But for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.